Experimental futures are a new way for organisations to drive change and undergo transformation. When I look into the future, I don't just look at one possible future. I look at many. All of the possible scenarios, those that are driven by tech, those that are driven by political factors, by the economy, our ecology, and even now, those driven by pandemics. Experimental futures are a new way for organisations to drive change and undergo transformation. At its core, it's about understanding all possible future scenarios and then steering your organisation through strategic execution towards the most desirable future. Rather than the traditional approach of only understanding one possible future, organisations that are susceptible to disruption or those that wish to disrupt, organisations that want to innovate or those wanting to reinvent themselves should consider experimenting with futures. For example, we'll often let technology guide our future. VR, or virtual reality for example, has very little use in the lives of everyday Australians. Yet many companies are experimenting with how they can inject it or force it into their customer experiences. So rather than being guided by the hot new thing, using experimental futures as a method, we'll start with multiple futures manifesting what ha might happen in multiple scenarios, driven by social and other factors rather than just brand new tech. After this, we determine, based on a company's vision and purpose, where they should steer their future and how to react when major things change that course, like what's happening in the world right now. So right now, the world is an uncertain place because we've avoided looking too far into the future. When all the dust settles and normality returns, let's analyse multiple futures together and drive towards one that is best for all of us. Back in the day, we would never have gotten into a stranger's car. Now we have Uber. For the sake of a lower taxi ride, we brushed off our fears. This was a future possibility that many, many people overlooked. Back in the day, we'd never let a telco track our every move through our phones, but now, for, for our safety, people are starting to do this, to allow this. Another future that seems dystopian, but for our safety, we're willing to do it. What other compromises are we willing to make? We've given up our data. We've given up most of our privacy. We've given up our fear of riding with strangers. Contrary to what we'd like to hear, there is not one possible future for the next five years. There are many. There will be ever-changing forces at play over this time horizon. And using experimental futures allows organisations and brands to navigate these stormy waters. We've been thrown so far from the norm recently. It would be crazy to reject the fact that a paradigm shift is among us. Those fighting for sustainability and carbon emissions may develop a more powerful voice in the coming years. The use of digital technologies may diminish as we reconnect with each other on a human-to-human -human level. Our communities might decentralise, putting less density in cities and more services in smaller villages, lessening the risk of spreading a pandemic amongst us. Governments might be redesigned to suit a new model for how we want to live our lives. The nine-to-five will be a relic from the past. Education systems will be dramatically shifted. Only those who look at enough possible futures will have the insights to succeed in these volatile times. And with volatile times comes extraordinary opportunities. So consider experimental futures to help you navigate that future.